Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show a Python script that I have written to take the screenshot. So basically, as you know that when we take a screenshot in Windows, what we need to do is we have to press print SC button on the keyboard and then we have to paste it in the paint using control V and then we have to save it. So it's quite a bit of task uh, for taking a screenshot. So what I have done is written a script that takes a screenshot with just a button click. So when you press a button, it will just take the screenshot and save it in a folder. So it is quite fast. So let's see the code. So this script uses this packages um, PyAutoV that is used to automate the keyboard, WinSound that is used to produce system sounds and time module, and Py and Put keyboard listener which actually listens for all the keystrokes that we press. Now this part is the folder where we want to save the screenshot. Let's say we have to save this in a screenshot folder in the desktop. So we will first check if this folder exists on desktop or not if it doesn't exist then we will create this folder now after the creation we have initialized two variable see what i have done is before the user takes a screenshot he has to press certain key like shift plus p button to enter into that phase such that the script will listen for the screenshot so as soon as the shift plus p button is pressed then we can press the other button which actually is responsible for taking the screenshot and we will take as many screenshots as we want and after the task is finished we will again press the shift plus p button so that this functionality is turned off so shift p is basically a turn on and turn off for the screenshot taker so after this is a beep function it actually produces a beep sound and i have used this as an instruction that screenshot taker is on or off if it is on then it will be sounded just one and when it turns off then it will be uh, sounded twice now let's come to this part with listener see the listener we imported above is basically a threading loop that always listens for the keyboard events and it has two parameters on press and on release so whenever a key is pressed then this function is fired and when a key is released then this function is fired so what i want to do is we have to first listen for the shift plus p button okay now coming to the on press function it actually takes a key parameter now this key parameter has certain methods like name and character and vk so it depends what key we are pressing so let's say we press a shift key so shift key has the name attribute and while a uh, proper alphabet has character attribute and when we press certain symbols like backtick then it has vk property so backtick is actually used uh, when we need to take the screenshot so i have used a try except clause because let's say the user press the shift button so this will pass and our shift will be true now after this when we press the p button since p does not have this name attribute so this try clause will fail and after this this try uh, where the key has the character attribute it will pass since alphabet p has the character attribute now since key press has p and shift is true it means we need to start the screenshot so since start is currently false so we will start the screenshot and we will make a beep sound just once and then initialize start to true so it means the screenshot taker is on uh, let me run this so that you could understand better so if i turn the screenshot by pressing shift p so it takes screenshot taker on now whenever i press the back tick key that is this one it will take the screenshot and it will save the screenshot to the folder that we have created on the desktop so let's go to the folder so this is the folder and that contains the screenshot that we are taking right now whenever i press the back tick the screenshot will be taken and saved automatically here so as you can see as as i press it it takes the screenshot it's, so it's quite fast uh, with the traditional method that you use uh, using the print sc on the keyboard so this is uh, turning on the screenshot using shift p okay so let me explain this part so since using shift and p start is true it means we need to take the screenshot and when we press the back tick then back tick has the number 192 so it will turn to true and then we will use the pi auto v module to take the screenshot and this screenshot will be uh, saved to this im variable now we will create a file name now file name should be unique so i have used time module so that it will be saved in the format hour minute and second so this is the format in which the screenshot is being saved as you can see here so that all the screenshot will be unique now after creating the file name we will save it uh, in the folder now let's say we have to turn off the screenshot taker so we again have to press the shift p so what happens is let's say the user press the shift button so on pressing the shift it becomes true here and then it press the p but when the p is released on release function will fire and when it is fired then we again enter the try clause where the key press p is actually checked let's see we have released the p button 
so the key press will have p in it now if key press is equal to p and the shift is also true it means we are going to uh, turn off the screenshot so we will turn it false shift to false so using this screenshot taker will turn off so let's turn on the screenshot as still working so when i press p so it takes screenshot taker off so whenever i press the back tick again it will not take the screenshot so i am pressing it and it's not taking the screenshot but when i again turn on the screenshot taker by pressing shift p then it will start taking the screenshot again so you can see it's taking the screenshot as i press the back tick button so that's it it's a simple script that is handy whenever you want to take a quick screenshot let's say you are watching certain live video uh, which you won't get afterwards so whenever you press the back tick button it will quickly take the screenshot and save it so that's it for this video we'll meet you in the next one bye bye